you have seniors on your side. Your classmates can always catch the person outside and they will collect. No one follow court is fine. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to Jinx Verse. It's your girl Oinkong back again with another video. And my voice is sounding kind of weird. Like I have auto tune or something, but it's fine because I'm rocking it. So today we're going to be talking about something kind of serious, something important because it's something that a lot of people have, but not a lot of people talk about. Um, that there's like a stigma around it, and so people don't really like to, you know, show it. I'm talking about carryovers. A carryover is essentially when you fail a course and you have to retake it in another year. So let's say you fail a course in year one first semester. That means you can take the course again either year two first semester, year three first semester or year four first semester. You can take it in any of the levels but it has to be during the first semester when that course is available. Now the first point I will make in how to handle carryovers or how to carry over is number one don't procrastinate it don't avoid it don't push it forward this is what i'm saying if you fail a course in year one first semester the next opportunity to write it is year two first semester write it then and there write it immediately so that you can be done with it if you fail multiple courses in year one first semester and you have too much load to do in year two first semester and you can't carry all those carryovers at once then you can divide it across each level knowing that if you are doing that you can't afford to carry over any more courses so you have to like really be deliberate with it let's say you you carry over three courses and you have to retake three courses in first semester you know that in that year one or second semester you can't afford to have any more carrying parts because it will add on to the workload that you have to carry on with you throughout the years and it will definitely have an effect on your cgpa just have a determination not to have any more carrying parts that actually helps it will help motivate you oh exams are coming oh test is coming oh i have this assignment and you'd want to work harder so that it's not to have any more so you can carry it over easily now I'm saying easily because but it's really not. I've had one carryover. It wasn't entirely my fault. There was some problems with my portal, but I don't want to get into it. I had to retake a course. And I realized that we were like five or so that had to retake this course. But I was the only one attending the classes. That's my second point. Attend the classes. Because you're not in year two. So you have year one students, your juniors or whatever. And you're like, oh my gosh, how can I attend the class of my juniors? Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. You realize that you just failed this course when you were attending it with your peers. You literally did all the assignments, all the tests. Or let's say you didn't. You, you just failed the course. And you think, oh, let me not attend the class so that I will pass this time. How, 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 how? Or let me not attend this class. How would you know when there's an assignment or a test? How? How do you want to do that? You have to attend the classes. I hated attending the classes, but I had to do it because we had an impromptu test two times, which was 10 marks each. Now imagine if I was in there, that's 20 marks gone. That means I can only get up to 80. How are you going to get 80 over 80 in exam? Or let's say they did an assignment and they did group projects and they grouped the people that were in class and you were not there. How are you going to make your case? You're a carryover student and you went in class to get a group. Would you go back to the man's office to come telling him, sir, please, sir, this, sir. Like, it's just a lot of, it just brings up a lot of stress that you really don't need. So, just attend the classes. Attend that the brings class. me to my third point, which is your classmates. You guys did the class together in year one. You failed it. You know some people that passed it. Ask them for their notes. Ask them for help. Ask them on things that you don't really understand. Be ahead of the class that is happening now. You can't retake a course and then be getting to see how how you've had double double the training let's say you didn't want to attend class at all and you had to take a carryover or whatever you shall have people that attended the class you shall need exam you shall need test so how how somebody that is just entering you that entered before you did it before you are doing it again that person might get a you now be getting c how it's it's not acceptable if you're carrying over a course it has to be an a because that F that you got the first time has already spoiled to your CGPA. 
you need something else that will now balance it out and a is the only thing that can actually do it because getting an a in a carryover course is essentially average because you already have an f i don't want to get into the, the semantics and the mathematics of it because i'll probably fail it i suck at math but you understand what i'm saying right right next point do your assignments and your projects if it's a group assignment be vocal don't say because I'm a, I'm a you know, carryover student, they're going to make fun of me. Excuse me. You're a carryover student so you can do it again. So you can retake it. So you can have additional knowledge. You didn't pass it the first time. You're doing it again so you can pass it this time. So you can bring up, oh, last year we did this. Oh, I think we should go in this direction. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, I think this is a great idea. You have the right. You're retaking the course. And if anybody wants to say anything to you, you have seniors on your side. Your classmates can always catch that person outside and they will collect. No one follow court is fine. <laughs> and last but not least, familiarize yourself with the lecturer. Why would I say this? This is if all things are normal. Like there's no lecturer harassing you or anything. So you go out to the office, excuse me, sir, I did your course last year, or excuse me, man, I did your course last year. And I didn't get it. This, that, 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 that. Most of the times, they want to help you. If you didn't, if the, if most things, if everything is normal, if there's no like, you know, you know, they want to help you. Or oh, your carryover students, they might give you extra assignments to do if you're still not, you know, assimilating as quickly as you should. Because sometimes you just don't get some stuff. Some things don't just chill. It's understandable. So the lecturer might see that and be like, oh, maybe you should read this book and summarize it for some extra marks. Maybe you should do this, maybe you should do that, maybe you should do this, maybe you should do that. And just because they know you, they, in the marking, I'm not saying they'll give you extra mark or anything. I'm just saying that you'll be in their mind. So like, you know, when they're marking, the Holy Spirit might descend and, you know, help can come from anywhere. God works in mysterious ways. You get what I'm saying? Or just familiarize yourself with your teacher. Let's say a teacher is harassing you and that is why you have a carryover. Oh, sadly, that happens. But let's say that's the case. Don't go back to that teacher. Go to your mother and your father, your guardian, your neighbor, a lecturer that you know, a lecturer in a different department, a lecturer in that same department. A lecturer who cares about you, a lecturer who is higher up than the lecturer that is harassing you, your head of department, go there and make a formal complaint or go to your mom and complain. Tell someone, don't just hide it, don't think you can handle it because you really can't. And I don't know how you would get out of that situation without doing what that lecturer wants if you don't tell somebody. So you have to tell someone. That's my, that's my only recommendation. If it's a teacher that's harassing you, however the harassment may be coming. You know, you can do it anonymously. If you don't want to tell anybody, if you want to do things under the books, you can do it anonymously and hope for the best. Because that teacher that's harassing you, it's not just you. So like, if he doesn't know where the complaint is coming from, there's like 50 people he's harassing. So how does he want to point the finger? Do you guess? So if your parents come to school, then obviously. But if he's fired, what's going to happen? Do you get me? But then again, most of the teachers go in groups and other lecturers might now start attacking you because of him or her. And that's very sad, but it happens. So that's why I say you should allow it, but you should allow it anonymously. Try and keep it as under the books as you can. But if you can't, then you should allow it. Just make it really, 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 really everywhere. So that if anybody is attacking you, everybody that is already like listening to you loud it. Picking, picking up on the signs like, yo, what's going on here? Is it because of that? Is it because of this? So that you really do it silently under the books and you clear that man, get him fired, whatever. Or you really, really take it big, go to a TV station. I don't really care. Just make it really big, really loud. Whichever one you can handle. Some people can't handle being in the spotlight. Some people can handle anonymous. So just do whatever can work for you. So guys, that's all for this video. As you can see, I had my genius glasses on. So, I felt like advising you, talking to you, giving you some like, you know, good, good stuff. But yeah, I had bad experiences with my carryover, but then I got an A. 
and I was like, oh, thank God, I'm finally done with it. I don't have any other carryovers. I'm okay. So I just thought I should make this video to let you know that you shouldn't be ashamed of it. You failed, but you're doing it again. So you don't have to fail this time. Go to your classes, ask your classmates for help, familiarize yourself with your teachers, do your CA, do your test. And if it's an harassment case, report anonymously or very loudly. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of my serious side, you know, giving you advice on that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions for me on carryovers or something I think I didn't cover, or you just you know have a suggestion please also leave that in the comments and please don't forget to like subscribe and share see you next wednesday guys bye